Hello everyone, welcome back to the series of tutorials on C++. I am Deepak Hunyal and in this tutorial I am going to discuss about overloading unary prefix and postfix operators. So what I am going to do here, I will create a complex class which I have already created which has two parts, real and imaginary and then I have a driver function which is main. So I will create a number first like 3 plus 4i and after pre-incrementing suppose this number is c1 so when i pre-increment this number that means plus plus c1 it should return us 4 plus 5i and if you post increment this number it should give us 3 plus 4i as return and it should originally change the number to 4 plus 5i okay so i hope you understand the difference now try to implement this function one thing you might be aware that uh, how we implement prefix and postfix operator in postfix we need to pass an argument which is dummy integer All right so let's start it's a complex number and okay so let's start it's a constructor for initializing the variables and now you can see one new thing here we are putting a colon here then real and real in bracket and img and img in bracket this is called initializer list and it's used to initialize the variables you can understand this thing by renaming these two variables real and imaginary although by color you can identify that which variables are internal variables of this class and which are the arguments but still these two arguments r and i are the argument that are passed in the constructor and the other two arguments this real and img are the private members of this class so we have to write real first which is private member of this class and in bracket we have to write the argument in this way this r will be assigned to this real and similarly i will be assigned to the img although you can do the same thing using real equal to r and img equal to i but if you don't want to do this you can always write like this using initializer list and the elements will be initialized clear so now start with your another function which is returning complex and then we have to name it operator plus plus and if you look at its syntax you can easily understand that it is going to overload prefix operator and I can say prefix increment operator and why it is so because we are not passing any dummy variable here clear so do one thing first create some complex number from this function main so I am creating a variable c1 or just c pass some values to here 3 and 4 after that if you want to pre-increment the values you have to do like this plus plus c clear and after this there should be change in the complex number or I can say original complex number so to check that number we have to write a function here which is print complex or display complex so this statement is going to print the complex number now what I am going to do here I will write this prefix implementation so first what you have to do you have to increment the real part and then you have to increment the imaginary part and we are using prefix operator here clear after that you should return the current state of object and that can be done using this pointer you are just re-referencing the pointer here and returning it so this is how we can pre-increment the complex number let's try to print this first and print this number before pre-incrementing everything seems fine if anything is incorrect we will try to rectify that so let's go to the terminal first and run this program okay so we are here on the terminal 
now compile the program g plus plus unary overload and program is compiled successfully now we have another file here a dot out run this file and you can see 3 plus 4i is incremented to 4 plus 5i clear so this was the pre-increment operator now try to implement post-increment operator I will write another function just below this function so that you can easily understand the function operator plus plus and then we have to take a dummy variable integer right write a comment here post fix increment operator and now what you have to do as you are going to return previous state of the complex number so you have to create a temporary object complex and in that store current state of the object using this pointer after that you can increment the real part and increment the imaginary part and due to these two statements state of the object will be changed right so if it is 3 plus 4i it will be changed to 4 plus 5i but here at this moment we have to imitate the postfix operator and that's why we will return temp object which is previous state of the object clear so here we are returning value and not the reference okay and this value that we are returning is unincremented value right so let's try to implement this thing also c++ so we have c++ we need a temporary object here which is temp then try to print tam dot print complex so it should be an incremented value and after that c dot print complex clear so we'll run this program now and see the output g plus plus unary overload program has compiled successfully now try to run it and here you can see this is 3 plus 4i which is the first value of the object then after pre-increment it's 4 plus 5i and this is temp object right this is temp object 4 plus 5i which is not incremented you can see here and after that when we are printing our c object you can see here it is incremented clear so this is how we have implemented prefix operators and postfix operators in c++ you can also try implementing these operators using some other examples okay so i think it's enough for this lecture if you have any doubt or query regarding any of these things you can always write in the comment and i will try to respond back so see in the next video with some new concept till then thank you so much